All right, our next HTML lesson is about external links where you're, if you're building a page or maybe you have a website, but you want to put a link that actually jumps out of your website over to some other website that might have information that you want to share or use it as a resource um, that your, your website viewers might want to look at. So we're going to take a look at how to do that. How do you do an external link that's going to jump away from your actual site and go to another one? This will be done in the web lab. By the way, there's a handout posted on Google Classroom that has uh, all the you know sectioned out instructions about getting started, creating the page, adding the links, all that stuff is there. I'm going to demo uh, email if you need help, um, or if you're in class live, ask if you need help. All right, so I'm on code.org. I'm going to go ahead and rename this and just call this external links. And I'll save that name. And remember, it, it's external because it's going away from our page. It's going away from our website. It's not all contained right here in our pages. All right, so we're only going to need this one page. We're going to use this index.html page. It's only one page today. In the previous assignment, we had done a little collection of pages where you had to have five. You don't have to do that this time. It's just one page. And keep it as the index.html. Don't change the name of that. Uh, don't delete that. Uh, use the index.html. That's going to make me able to grade it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just create some space there. And just because I want to organize this, I'm going to put an H1 heading that says some of Mr. Arvin's favorite, uh, we'll just say websites, products, whatever you want to whatever you want to call it. All right, and then I'm going to close that H1 tag. All right, so I just have an H1 tag that says uh, some of Mr. Arvin's favorite websites. Cool. All right. Now, this is really going to go pretty quick and easy. It's an anchor tag, just like we did in our previous assignment, but it's going to go someplace else. So an anchor tag always starts with a, a bracket A, H ref equals, okay, here's where it gets different. This time, I don't want to connect to something that's right here in the collection that's over on the left-hand side in the asset panel. I want to connect to a web page that's out there someplace. All right, so my first one, I love Albany's Gummy Bears. And I've already kind of got these websites ready to go. I've opened a new tab in Google Chrome. And, excuse me, this one is albanescandy.com. It's the people that make Albany's Gummy Bears. So what you do is you just come up here on the address bar and you just take that address and copy it all right let's go back to code.org and i'm going to go ahead and paste it there we go and then um the next thing that i want to do is close that close that bracket and the click text comes next remember after after you close that first bracket you put that greater than sign the click text is next well I'm especially uh, in favor of their gummy bears, so I'm going to say best gummy bears on the planet. That's how I'm going to say it. But, but remember, the click text can be any school appropriate thing you want it to be, right? It can say anything. It's going to become clickable text. It ought to give you a clue about where you're headed. So obviously, if somebody sees this link, they're going to know it's about gummy bears. All right, so then I'm going to go bracket, slash A, bracket, bingo. And over on the right-hand side in my preview window, let me close this up a little bit. This will help us see this a little bit better. Um, I see a link over here. Now, it might look purple because I've already visited Albany's Gummy Bears on this computer. And so it's, it's saying, hey, purple means you've already been there. That's okay. I'm not worried about that. Now, I might also just do this, um, bracket, BR bracket. Remember that was one of the one of the options. In fact, you know we could even do it bracket br bracket. We could maybe even do it twice, um, and then it's going to space things out a little bit. Now, do you want to do you want to copy and paste? Um, Or do you just want to type it again? That's really kind of up to you. You know, you can you can decide. Do you if you think copying and pasting would speed you up, you could certainly do that. Um, I don't think it's that hard. So I'm going to go bracket uh, a h ref 
equals, and we really should put quotation marks around these uh, websites. Sorry, I didn't do that. I had to kind of fix that on the first one. We really should put them in quotation marks. My second stop here is going to be, I mentioned earlier that I just really like Sprecher root beer. It's my favorite root beer. So I've got the, uh, this is the website. And if you're, if you're not sure about the web address of something you're looking for, do a Google search for it, right? So I found SpreckerBrewery.com. That's where they make the root beer. And you can see the the root beer logo right there on the front page. I'm going to copy that address and I'll come back over here to code.org and I'm going to paste it in and I'll go ahead and I'm going to close the quotes. I'm going to put these web addresses in quotes. I think that's a good idea. I'll close the, uh, the bracket and uh, I'm going to say great root beer. All right, and then we go bracket slash a bracket and um, again, I'm going to throw in that a couple of those BR tags, line break tags, just because I want to. You don't necessarily have to do that, uh, but I just want to spread my links out a little bit. And I'm going vertically. I'm making them go down the page instead of across the page. All right, so let's move on here. Let's speed up href equals quote. And my next one is going to be, I'm, I'm a big IndyCar fan, so I've got in another tab up here, I've got the IndyCar.com. All right, so there's that. I'm going to copy that address. I'll go back to code.org. Uh, I've got my quote in, so I'll paste it. And then I'm going to close my quote, and I'll close my bracket. Um, and I'll just say IndyCar exclamation mark. And I'll go bracket slash A bracket. And then I'm going to throw in BR. BR. I'm putting in two line breaks just because I want to spread them out. That's all. You don't have to do that. That's just me. All right, a href equals quotation mark. My next one up is uh, there's a website I use for a lot of online classes where you can, you can learn all kinds of computer stuff and all, all a bunch of stuff. It's called Skillshare, uh, and so I'm going to copy the link for Skillshare.com. You can do your own websites, right? Don't you don't have to do mine? Don't do mine. Uh, do stuff you're interested in. I'll paste that link in. I'm going to close those quotes. I'm going to close that bracket. Um, and I'm going to say learn something new because Skillshare is really great for that. Bracket slash A bracket uh, and a couple of BR tags just to spread it out a little bit. Okay, cool, good. Enter and I'm, this is it. This is the last one. You got to do five of these. The requirement, the, the assignment is for five. And so I'm on my last one here um, equals quote and um, I'm also very interested in, in things like, um, oh, all the, you know, the uh, SpaceX mission to the space station and the, the Mars Perseverance launch uh, that was recent. And pretty soon they're going to go back to the moon with the Artemis launch. And there's just all kinds of cool stuff going on at NASA. So I'm going to get NASA.gov, right? It's not a .com, it's a .gov. So I'm going to copy the NASA.gov. I'll go back to code.org and let's paste that in. And I'm going to close the quote. I'm going to close the bracket. And I'll say uh, something like, to the stars. Uh, and, and again, the click text can be whatever you want it to be. That's going to be up to you. All right, so now we go bracket slash A bracket. And I want to put in my BR tags real quick. And if I'm looking over on the right-hand side in my preview window, I have, you know, I have that heading up there, some Mr. Arm's favorite websites, and then I have five links. Now, we ought to check them, right? If I click on the one that says Gummy Bear, oh, look, it worked. Okay, now I'm just going to, it jumped me off of code.org. That's really kind of the whole idea, right? It, the, the link is supposed to take me away from my web page. So it jumped me off of code.org and took me to Albany's Candy. All right, so I'm going to close that tab, and I'll go to Great Root Beer here, and, and bingo. All right, so see that link is working. You should test your links. Don't turn your stuff in if you haven't tested your links. I just click the IndyCar link, and there we go. That one's working. I'll close that tab. I'm going to click on the Learn Something New. That's for Skillshare.com. That one's working. Okay, I'm going to close that tab. And then to the stars, and that should take us to NASA.gov, and look at that. It does. All right. So my five links that I created that are linked up to external websites are all working. Cool. I've got it renamed. It's called External Links. So the only thing left for me to do would be come up here and hit Share, copy the link to my work, go back to Google Classroom, and turn it in. 
Happy linking!